I feel like if I, I was like the director of the show or if uh, someone asked me for an advice, uh huh, uh, Netflix, please, I feel like um, they should, they should, if they want the drama, they should put all the baby mamas of them on the show because they know that Nadia she is in a like five minute relationship or so. I don't want to say my role model because his personal life choices are questioning, but Damon, <laughs> Annie is not doing for this one. Mm. Hello guys, my name is Kim Tobe and in today's video I'm gonna be getting ready with me and reviewing my reaction, my popular opinion on Young, Famous and African. It's a reality show that has just been released on Netflix on 18 March and today's 19 March. Guys, I'm your OG Nairobi Darius reaction person and some of you have been asking me to review Nairobi Darius but um the show is no longer available so we're gonna be release the most famous and the most to me young african famous and african and yeah let's go if you want to get ready with me and uh, unbox some sephora makeup that i got during the day let's go let's start oh before that give this video a thumbs up subscribe comment down below our opinions it's a safe place if you comment nonsense it's gonna be glitched and block <laughs> no i'm kidding it's an Everyone has an unpopular opinion, so respect my unpopular opinion. I respect your unpopular opinion. So let's dive in. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just have to put it here. How is it looking? I don't know how it's looking, but guys, if you want to support me on my Patreon, please do. So yeah, guys, today we are here to talk about Young, Famous and African Yesterday I was watching Netflix and I was um, I was actually finishing I finished uh, I was a high C Alma Alta Alma uh, I don't know that's it's a Spanish program I just I just finished it and I was watching Vikings Valhalla and something pop up um, and it's young famous and African so the reason why I watched this reality show is uh, actually I don't know other cast but I know Diamond. Diamond Platinum. I'm a die-hard fan of Diamond Platinum. I know <laughs> he is kind of a shady, but I just like him because he's a hustler and he is a businessman and he's an entrepreneur and he knows what he's, he, he is doing. About his personal life, um, I do not disagree on how he lives his life, but um i i have come to realize that these celebrities are normal human beings so do not expect so much about them so when i follow a celebrity i just follow for his talent i don't focus on his personal life because they man they disappoint you and because we cannot be sitting here and looking blunt and i'm african guys i'm kenyan by the way I decided to do a uh, get ready with me because I have some content I'm shooting and uh, yeah I'm back from the village you guys have been enjoying the village videos but guys this is not about me I'm back in Nairobi and I just wanted to do some I'm doing some sponsored videos after this video so I decided let me get ready up and let me discuss about young famous and Africa and we're watching it yesterday with uh, David and we finished all the we finished it's a reality show and we finished all of it all of the series it has i think it has seven episodes uh correct me if i'm wrong but it has seven episodes and each episode i have like 30 minutes or so i don't know i don't remember i was so hooked on it i was first skeptical about it uh yeah so the cast uh, consists of Kanye, Nadia, Zari, Diamond, Jeremiah, and also now Zari through Diamond. So that's, I actually know two people on this uh, cast of Young Famous and African. It's a reality show and it was released in 2022. And I think it was released this month. Correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, also, I knew about, I know Two-Face, but I didn't know so much about Annie. I knew so much about the scandals of Two-Face and being a um, baby daddy for many different women, but I, did, uh, but I didn't know Annie that well. 
but you're going to talk about all of these cast members and what you can learn from their experiences as you know i love doing reaction videos i love watching movies i love watching netflix series also comment down below if what kind of series you want me to react to you know i had i was the og of nairobi daddy's review and uh you guys are from some of the k tab are follow me because of nairobi daddy's reviews so this I'm going to be reviewing young females and Africans, so let's do. And the reason why I wanted to do my makeup is because I'm excited about some two or three products that I have. And I'm so excited about them. I have new products. I have this. This is Fenty Beauty. And it's my first time purchasing it. I hope you can see it clearly. And it's a pro filter, mini instant retail setting powder. It's my first time purchasing this. That's why I purchased a mini. And it's the shade Nutmeg. This is not sponsored, guys. I just want to show you what I like. And if you want to order from me, you can order. Just email me at kimtobear2016 and with your pictures of what you like and your shade. Guys, please email me your shade. I cannot know your shade. I'm actually not a makeup artist. But yeah, so that's my nutmeg. I'm so excited about it. I like the way it's small. <laughs> and then another thing is this Fenty Beauty is exactly my shade. I'm shade for 450 on Fenty Beauty. And then this Fenty Beauty uh, eye li fly liner. Yes, it's called fly liner because I'm black. And I like it. Why you guys? You don't know how much I like this. I like also the mascara, but kidogo kidogo. So that's what I'm excited. What's new in my collection? So yeah, let's start with. Um, I don't know how to multitask. So you guys, you will help me. So let's see what the overview. Let me just be clear. The overview is about is a young media star's work, play, flat, and feud in Johannesburg. And the series was released in 18 March 2022. Right now it's 19 March. And I watched it, all of it, all of the episodes. I watched it, guys. So, what uh, the, it's, um, I know Diamond. Diamond is, um, is, is, he is a superstar, guys. Diamond is a superstar. I've been following Diamond. Like, Diamond is. I don't want to say my role model because his personal life choices are questioning. But Diamond is, uh, I've already moisturized by the way. Diamond is, uh, this is not a tutorial as, again. So don't come for me. So I've already moisturized and all the things. So Diamond is a star. And uh, Diamond comes from a very humble beginning. So he understands the struggles of most of us. Who watches and I think is fan based is a Tanzanian musician superstar and I really enjoy his songs and I, I really enjoyed the song called Salome like I love whatever Diamond chose to put out he has an album actually right now and uh, uh yeah I like I like him I like like his hustle I like his hustle his personal life choices um, I cannot comment because I am not perfect also. So I cannot comment on someone else the way he chooses to live his life. So I was so skeptical when I saw this. I was actually not going to watch it because, you know, like some, how do you say? So these are just my opinions. These are my unpopular opinion about young females and African, okay? So don't take it literally. And also I'm looking forward to hear about your you, 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 your own, your own opinion about this show. So, what do you say? When I first click on it, I was so skeptical. I was like, mm, this is gonna be so scripted. This is, uh, this is not a reality show. Actually, it's gonna be so scripted. I was so skeptical about it. And the thing is, we Kenyans and Africans maybe accept Nigerians. Nigerians support their own. We Africans, we are norm normally, we are so skeptical supporting our own. I don't know why. Okay, let me blend this because you guys already know I'm a queen of not focusing. So let me blend this first and then we'll come and talk. So that's how my foundation is. So Diamond, 
uh yeah you could die had fun but they had fun so diamond i'm gonna eat, going in with nutmeg fenty beauty so diamond is uh like he's a superstar like he has i think he's been nominated 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 also on bet like i like him i like the guy because he's a hustler and he just know how to bring scandal and he's actually he's actually good for for this show so i was excited to see diamond but before the show started there was kanye kanye uh i think kanye is um uh, what did she say she is i just want to be precise i don't want to be cool or cool or kanye who is kanye so kanye kanye who's kanye what's what do, does kanye do Oh, Ka uh, Kanye Bao. I hope I'm saying the name correctly. She's a South African actress and she's a lot. <laughs> Let me just say she's a lot. Let's go. Like, I don't want to give out so much so that uh, I'm not copyrighted. But this is how Nutmeg looks. So, Kanye, she's a lot. And the thing that struck me with Kanye, she speaks her mind. And she is into everyone's business, but she doesn't want anyone to be in her business. Do you understand? Huh? So she's like, she's like, uh, she wants to hook up Nadia. She's a rapper. She wants to hook up Nadia with Diamond, and she basically knows that Nadia she is in a like five minute relationship or so. So I don't know why she wants to cause drama. Like she's in everyone's business, but she doesn't want anyone to be in her business. So my thoughts about Kanye is she's very opinionated and she's very bold. And she like, she doesn't think like she's nosy. <laughs> she's very nosy, but I like her because she's so direct. At first, the first scene, I didn't like her but after watching the episodes i kind of like she's actually my favorite but i said the season not like her because i felt like she was in everyone's business and nobody knew her business so far but i like her because she's so opinionated and the way she stood up against zari on the episodes that follows and she's what yeah so the thing about kani is i won't i won't tell you more details but i'm just telling you my opinion that i'm seeing things so kanye uh she has a daughter she has i think one daughter she has one child she has a 15 year old daughter and she lets her daughter live alone in her apartment like a luxury apartment and their neighbors so guys in an african homestead she is 15 like I am way older and I was able to just live alone just last year. But my mom keeps on like you guys if you're African, you know this is already like like oh my god, this is weird. So the first time I heard that Kanye the first time when we learned that Kanye lets her daughter live alone, we were we were like, oh my god, this is like she is a very bad mother. But actually, I feel like she's not. Though I don't support her letting her daughter live alone. Because when the United States, I think can only manage to live alone when you're, I think, 16 or 18. But you're still under your, 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 your parents' supervision. So she lets her daughter live alone. And I, apparently, I feel like she's a bad mother. But when she says, says her reason why she lets her kids live alone, her kid live alone i kind of understand because she's dating diff different um different men and she doesn't want to introduce a man to her her daughter because the, she doesn't know how long the man is in her life so she doesn't want to put it on her daughter and she wants to continue living her fabulous classy rich famous life so i feel like yeah i understand that part but again like it feels selfish but i guess like if you are selfish enough you're gonna be a good mother and then she introduces her child in another episode and i get the vibe that the child is really well disciplined first i thought that the child was gonna be like a brat but she ain't a brat she looks like she is an adult like she looks cool like she looks she got her 
her like she like her mom parents her really well because sometimes you feel like you're another thing about Kani she said like she doesn't even control her sex like if her daughter she's 15 if her daughter decides to have sex like when she's 15 she's gonna let her do what she she wants but i feel it's really good because even if you're a strict parent and your, your your child wants to do whatever that she wants to do she's gonna do it you know that she she's gonna do it so whether you prevent it or not you're just gonna do it so it's better you you be her friend so you can know and you can advise her and if uh, for example something happens she she's gonna trust her mom and tell her what's going on so so annie here comes annie annie is annie is um she's an actress and she has her own like she is a superstar on herself but her husband is more famous and actually i knew i know two face because i love two face it did their her music his music so i'm sorry i, I really want this video to be so small but so i like um i like i like the way like annie is very emotional annie was crying so much until like until i was like in the next episode when it's coming out I, I was like when the show like annie i was like i hope she's not gonna be crying right now because it's too much this woman is too emotional she's too like annie is not built for this one this one is so cruel if you show your weaknesses this one is so cruel they're gonna like people are gonna use your weaknesses and actually they did i saw that that trying to use annie's weakness like feeling thinking that because annie accepted two-face cheating behavior like bringing children into the marriage like like two-face had like five child with different women before even giving having children with annie his sweetheart lover so i felt like uh zari was trying to use that like because annie forgave two-face for cheating and giving like having children with other women uh so i think like uh, zari took that and other women in the show took that like that annie is uh insecure which i beg to differ annie is just a loving sweet caring woman who does all belong in this evil world eh? she is an angel and she doesn't belong in this world and she is not insecure to me she's not insecure she's just a loving forgiving soul and let me tell you people like that people like that i taken advantage a lot of the a lot of times so zari thought that you guys you have to go and watch the show on netflix i'm gonna give you all the details i don't want to be copyrighted so any thought that i'm gonna be putting screenshots of them if i'm if i'm not gonna be lazy so annie zari thought that zari and kani thought that uh, because she's so and forgive she's so forgiving uh, she's insecure about other women but me i felt like zari she, zari i love zari but then i love how she dresses love like i feel zari upgraded diamond uh style wise not talent and diamond upgraded zari because zari has no talent but diamond has talent and so being like baby daddy baby mama they are like a power couple are they a couple of still I don't know you know africa the way we are today we are dating today we are not dating today we are splashing today we are not splashing so i don't know what's going on between diamond and zari but i feel like zari was just and the other women on the show they're just jealous two-face loves his woman another thing about two-face i i think he's not a serial cheater i think that when you're a celebrity and you're rich and you're famous and you're handsome and you're young women tend groupies let me not even say women groupies tend to throw themselves at you and they tend to like be pregnant i know it takes two to go but it's actually true women throw themselves at celebrities that's the fact that's the truth and i feel like she he's actually i feel like most cheaters are really nice people and they're really like caring like take for example diamond why do women keep on giving him children because maybe he's nice 
maybe he knows how to take care of a woman that's why women just throw themselves at him and they keep on throwing themselves at him and uh, i feel that's the way it went with two-faced deep yeah the five women and then another thing i don't know about the the baby mamas of two-faced but i feel like they were friends they were like mutual friends with annie that's why annie is so like so close and she doesn't want to to be mingled with other women because from her experience this is just um an opinion an observation from her experience women that come close to her just want to be close to two face that's just my opinion i've not googled anything about the baby mamas of two face but i have a feeling that they they had maybe a connection with annie and then they cheated with two face so now i'm applying this so that's what i'm feeling okay so another thing is what what was i saying guys i need to focus but this is everything guys i love a really good okay i don't need to focus and then we'll come back and talk comment down below lights have just disappeared <laughs> the lights are back baby so saying this to say that i want to put the lashes it's no one business to tell anyone especially if you're not a therapist to tell anyone about their relationship so i didn't take it well when when the ladies of the show were giving advice to annie on what she should do and darkness darkness and the way they were darkness the agonies annie that she is insecure and she has not healed guys if you're not a therapist please don't like refrain from giving people advice yeah so for me i felt like the uh especially i felt like daddy was jealous of annie because annie <laughs> because annie decided uh, and annie and two-face are, are in love and they're renewing their vows. I felt like Zari wanted that to be her attention. I feel like Zari wanted the diamond to engage her. I may be wrong, but that's how I felt. And I have nothing against Zari. Let me fix this eyelash because, girl. But it's guy, it's so hot. Nairobi, it's very, very hot, guys. What's wrong? So this is Nedili. Maybelline. Wow. <laughs> this is Maybelline uh, uh, Super Stay Matte Link. Shade 35 Creator. That's what it says. So, let's finish. Because I want you guys to go and watch it. You will not be so disappointed. Especially, uh, my favorite characters were Diamond, uh, Kanye and all the boys all the boys i love them especially the stylist wow and who else did they love also zari like especially everyone brought drama there except from the white chick i think she's south african she was a bit like playing safe so girl mm. wow guys what do you think about this this color guys oh i just mix it i had to <laughs> i mix it with so me mark so guys i feel like um uh, what was i saying i feel like this show when they're returning because it's like i think it's finale i think they are gonna wait and see if there's junction on the show but i feel like if I, I was like the director of the show or if uh someone asked me for an advice uh-huh uh, Netflix, please. I, I feel like um, they should uh, shoot also in Tanzania and also shoot in Nigeria some episodes. And also, I feel like um, they should, if they want the drama, they should put all the baby mamas of them on the show because they did so for the other guy. Who's the other guy? They did so for the other guy. Who's the guy? Guys, I, I, when I'm telling you, I don't know, and it's not even shade, guys. I don't know, like anyone. I feel like I've rushed this uh, look, but it is what it is, guys. Hmm? 
I have rushed it. The way I feel like the makeup artist on the show rushed it. But Zari's makeup was always on late. Like Zari's skin is it's doing what it's supposed to. It's giving what it's supposed to give. But then foundation, the cast, the, like they are using for the cast. I don't know what Zari is using, but it was much better than the other one. So my thoughts on my mere thoughts you guys you have to go and watch the show on netflix to know everything but my thoughts are this for for the cast let me check them on my name because i don't remember the names of everyone so for me kanye she's a boss babe she may come up front and too much when you first meet her but this is a friend that you need and you need to keep in your circle guys like uh she's a friend you need she i love the dynamic for kanye and dj naked there are like couple like friendship goals they, their friendship is so deep and i love the way they 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 they, they are they're really there for each other i feel like i don't know them and they didn't show their relationship well but there's something like their friendship is deep and uh, they're like brothers and sisters actually it's true i can feel the chemistry of of siblings and diamond i love diamond like she's a, he's a so showstopper and i feel like they should bring the other baby mamas tanasha and hamisa and upcoming baby mama but i doubt if if zari has a thing in the production i doubt he'll let because zari likes attention and zari likes to the 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 spotlight on her alone so i don't think it's she's gonna like tanasha and hamisa on the show but it's gonna be more dresses like it's gonna be lit you remember like uh how uh, jocelyn and mimi from the steve like the love and hip-hop i think that dynamic will be really like <laughs> the toxicity will because uh, let's be honest reality shows are based on it being toxic so i feel like if amisa moboto and uh, tanasha who are bring on season the other season i think season two is gonna be late uh-huh and i feel like this will also have a sit down like the way they like how do you say when all the cast sit down and then there's a like a host and then they're asked about things i don't know what it's called but i'm sorry i was such in a rush to do this kind of video and i don't know <laughs> there's a possibility i will not be uploading this video so yeah wait so yeah let me just say uh just review their characters according to me so kanye is um uh, you, you love to hate her but she's she's really actually nice she's so nice i like her when the series was beginning i didn't like her i was like just against her and then she added she added salt to the wood of me not liking her by saying she lets her 15 year old child live alone and she's actually open for a 15 year old to start sexual relationship she's open for her daughter to do whatever she wants to do with her body so i i hate it i had a dislike let me use dislike instead of it but as the episodes continue get to see the real kanye and i really like her and she's actually my favorite among the women that were there okay nadia nakai nadia nakai she she comes off she's young she's uh, popping she's the it girl she's giving she's the she's the influencer like she looks like the influencer of the millennium mm -hmm. uh about her music i've never heard her music but i'm looking forward they were i think they are they are i'm looking forward for them collaborating with them i don't know if if they have already collaborated because that one has an album out i hope they collaborate together and i'm looking forward to hear her up she is kind of she plays safe and to me honestly i feel like kanye she's rich and i feel like nadia um she's an opportunist opportunist like she likes being like she is a follower she follows where there is opportunity where there is money like if you have money and you have a opportunity to give her she will stick by you and she will fight for you as long as you have that money and you have that fame and i feel like that's why she sticks with kanye because kanye is she's she looks famous she looks rich she looks like a boss so she follows people who have money that's just my opinion about nadia and uh, also i feel also about zari zari is a boss chick 
zari needs spotlight on her zari is like actually zari has blocked me on her zari blocked me like six years ago so <laughs> and it hurt me because i was trying to defend her on the comment section i i, I got a big block so zari if you're watching this please and and block me because i love your style i love how you're you're confident and mom you're just like i don't know you just love attention but what i like about zari is she knows how to dress and i feel like she influenced diamond with diamond's like outfit okay another one is who diamond plus them what is there not like i like diamond's music his personal life i'm not really i cannot be against it i don't know but i don't know like the boy knows how to play these girls so let him play okay and if you're a girl and you're still thinking like diamond's gonna wave you up that's on you because diamond is very direct on what he wants and he's a blesser he bless people with the sounds <laughs> okay about jeremiah oh god so quanky jerry squanky jerry fashion i am not a fashionista i don't know anything about fashion so i like the way he's collected and is a full he, he fully represents the nigerian people like he is classy he is like flashy like he is wearing gushy oh no, no let me not even say the names he was wearing designer like luxury designer like he represents nigerian people to the core he's stylish he's such a warm person and he like like he's a he's a people's person and it's very warm i think that's why annie likes uh skanky squanky jerry because of maybe her past experiences with people and that's why maybe he does she doesn't open up so much because opening up and her sweet and kind nature has brought so many tabulous experiences oh yeah so annie let's say annie annie to me annie is such a sweet soul she is not made for this world she is an angel and i just wish her nothing but the best and two faced deeper you better not cheat on this woman because this woman she loves you she loves you with all her soul she can't like please don't do bad on her she she has like you're very lucky to have someone that loves you like annie so please don't mess this up yeah who else i'm forgetting the other people why they're not showing Why are they not showing? Okay, there are this, they this other. I like the this so uh, who they that they DJ naked. Yes, DJ naked. He is cold. He is mature, but he's not yet to settle because maybe of his past experiences with women. So he's like, I feel like the one thing that is important to him is his children, his time, and if the the girlfriend wants this to last, he should actually give the guy time but you feel i feel like these uh videos are scripted and i won't blame them because they have to add juice to the soul so at least it's not like the the production was uh, it's so good guys go and watch netflix please go and watch young african and famous guys and as kanye says let us show them that they call us third world countries but we are first world countries we have the resources we have the talent we have the skills we are very beautiful people so yeah <laughs> so uh, what else this this other character i'm trying to remember this this other character who is it called ah why am i forgetting his name is i think he's a producer the one who was who was let me know in the comment section the one who was like the brother the one when the show the one who was uh having flirting with zari at the end of like almost the end of the episode i don't know the name i'll put the picture here he's like he's just, he's just so sweet he's just the the good guy <laughs> who wants to be bad and then it uh, ends up bad to them you know yeah so yeah that's it guys i feel like they should bring back the show you guys go and watch it stream it i think that netflix the more people like stream it the more more season to me come and i please i hope they bring hamisa and our girl tanasha on the show with the kids yeah and uh tiffany what was it the the 
Prince Nilan and Prince Tifa, they're such sweet kids. They have so much character. They're already superstars on their own. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We're heading to 40,000 subscribers. Guys, I enjoy re reviewing video or reviewing netflix shows or tv or movie shows let me know if i should start another channel instead of this one and maybe i can call it k-tribe reaction and i'll be reacting to trading things because i like it i'm always nosy i'm nosy on the internet yeah so oh and i wanted to say thank you for rose forever new york for my beautiful bouquet of flowers they smell so nice. These are real flowers, guys, from Ecuador. 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 <laughs> for saying. So, yeah, if you want to shop here for these beautiful flowers, you can shop down below on my link provided. Also, not sponsored, though. They smell nice. Actually, Annie needs roses. Annie needs a thousand roses because she is such a sweetheart. She's an angel yeah guys thank you so much for watching and let me know what's your opinion and your thoughts on the comment section below i'll be replying as always Mwah. and thank you so much for the road for 40,000 subscribers bye